Harley, oh, yeah. I can really put my hand right now. And now that you have seen the comps, it is time to show the team some love over on social media. Hit up Twitter, send hashtag either BJKWin or hashtag SKTWin to at Sports. We'll tally up your votes as usual shortly once we get on. Because it doesn't actually look like they're denying Marin in the yeah. status. Instead, they're going for a little bit of Whoa. mid lane. Looks like Thakalis and Thaldrin just on the other side, and it's going to be as well. Dumbledoge from the top lane. The hits go in. No, oh, 10 points to Dumbledoge. First blood. But Sheik does kills Faker. Three minutes into the first game of MSI. We'll see if they can get themselves right into the correct position after this one. Just a quick to move to save uh, Nardius. Yeah, just to finish that thought really quickly. A big reason Bashik has improved so much in the playoffs is Theocles improving and making really strong early plays. They're rinsing and repeating, and they're going for Nardius. Oh, he does have the flash. There it is from Bengi. He gets the knock up the spell shield just a little too late. And spent. Nardius goes down. Oh! But he is able to get a retribution kill for himself on Bengi. 230 on Marin. Level 3 to level 5. Marin's gonna have access to his equalizer. He may even be able to solo Dumbledoge. Ooh, there's a lot of minions there. Dumbledoge taking a bit too much damage. Good exhaust, but it may have just told him he can go even harder since the exhaust wore off, and he's home free. Yeah, it's not over yet. We do see Theocles and energy in trouble. Bengi's looking for the knockup. He finds Ooh. it. He's gonna get the Wrath down. They turn to Theocles, and that's two more kills for SKT. Revenge for SKT after yeah. that start. Baker still, even in CS after that death, after a second time being pushed out of lane, we saw from Energy, so keeping very strong in the middle for SKT as per usual. Oh, Marin, that's the overheat. Up, and we do see Exhaust comes out as well, but Wolf is around. Death Sentence does connect. Nardis in a little bit of trouble as the Equalizer goes down to split them up. The Lantern pulls Wolf in. Oh, they go right for Dumbledoge. He's going to go down. Doesn't have anything to use for it anyways in a great counter hit there by SKT. I really like the way SKT is actually playing around Marin when necessary. Once the dragon was taken off the map, the objectives change and they're going to help out their carry rumble. Faker with the blue buff, energy not with the blue, and that means Faker's gonna be spitting out soldiers everywhere. The Glitter Lance hopefully giving him Whoop. the space he needs. Shifting Sands will put Faker closer, but he doesn't have that much mana. Energy trying to get away. Energy throws down his Ignite. Faker throws down the cleanse. Oh, oh it's gonna be Faker coming up in the 1v1 advantage off of that. And after that four-man gank, it gave Marn an edge in that top lane, yep. which he has continually extended throughout this game. And now SKT is controlling the Oh, grid. Energy's in so much trouble. Forced to use the wild growth. A bunch of summoners have been blown. Here's the teleport from Thuldren. He's already in Meganar. The oh. prison catches Wolf and Beggy. It's another kill to Besiktas, but the dragon is now taking down the Turkish squad. They dove right into Theocles, and now they're going to serve him up. Bengi over the wall. Marin piercing the heavens with that equalizer. Now on to Thuldren. It's going to be Dumbledoge on one side, but now those guys are split. And I don't know if they really want this. The I think I can situation actually falls on Nardius, and he cannot. He definitely cannot as he gets taken out by Bengi and Marin. That is exactly what you know you were alluding to there, uh, Jet, as the game was building up. So much of this is in the setup and where players get their farm. The awareness of SKT to know exactly what to do in these lane swaps and punish Bashik just for committing to certain ganks has been very strong. And now they just have this monumental gold lead. But they're testing their luck here. Well, hopefully the monumental fan base of that 47% vote from Bashik does pushes them through here. A little bit of that is what they need. Faker with a nice Emperor's Divide, but it put himself on the wrong side. The Achilles could have gone down, but he gets the wild growth, and I think they're going to continue. Marin comes in with a teleport. And that equalizer decimated Besiktas. There's three members down already, and Bang and Marin looking for more. Dumbledoge is going to get away from the culling, but at what cost? The rest of SKT sticking around to put pressure in the mid lane. Three down, the fourth out of position. Yeah. Bang is going to try and chase him down, keep him occupied. SKT. Just protect comes Baker at that point. Everyone wanted to kill him. Dumbledoge. He was trying not to move so that Tremor Sense wouldn't see him. Yep. Just to keep Thaldren up, who again is still, you know, a level down 50 CS. Marin's got a death cap already. Death cap rumble is uh -oh, not something Bengi. a lot of people. Oh. A lot not of people time. particularly like. Quite we'll, easy, Baron. Well, yeah. Baron's only been alive. They for also have seconds. the Tremor Sense and the wars yeah. to see where Bashik just tries to come in from. So 
I feel like they're using this to try and bait Besiktas into a into a choke and then maybe right. have Marin teleport him behind. They have a very nice ward behind this fight for Marin to TP in on, and then they already catch energy. Oh, oh it does look like Besiktas wants to re-engage. Bengi's gone low. The Empress Divide already used, but there's the Equalizer, oh. and it destroys Besiktas. Throwing those Sand Soldiers forward. Marin is overheating, but he's got the Flame Spitter ticking. Two, three more kills for SKT. That's now 10,000 gold in the lead, and anything they want, they can have. They can't even start a fight. They need a Glacial Prison from Theocles, oh, but their oh, energy's man. caught out, and he's down. Little too close for comfort, and definitely an inhibitor. It's SKT. Yeah, the pressure is on. If they were nervous about the fans last time a little bit, they got to be nervous about against this lead of SKT. That last outer tier turret goes down, and they now have their eyes only set on the base. He emperor divides him off the wall. He can't get through the gate. Faker, Faker, Playmaker coming up big. And there's a little bit of personal pride on that one after how well Easy Hoon yeah. handled Azir in the LCK Finals. SKT decides to peel into the base. There's the Equalizer down. SKT setting his sights on the Nexus Towers. What can Besiktas do to stay alive? The Equalizer completely zoning Besiktas off any protection of their Nexus turrets. The health bars are falling just as fast for them, and they are putting up one hell of a final fight, trying to get Thaldrin down now. Bang is going to make that final shot. Actually, it's Fakers. They focus on the Nexus, and SKT will take game two over Besiktas at the midseason. 26 minutes, 25 seconds, SKT gets their first win.